right, we're here at Zune headquarters with Brian Seitz. And Brian, I know you're holding there in your hand a, a new Zune HD. I am. Can you give us a little bit of a tour? Absolutely. So for those of you that are familiar with Zune, you'll know, notice that the, the home screen is, is very similar to what it is today. Uh, we've added a, a couple of other things on there I can get into in just a sec. But one of the things we're really excited about is this kind of alternative UI on the side. And the goal of this is to get you as quick as possible to the content that you carry most, care most about. So what it's showing you here is uh, kind of the now playing. So I was listening to the radio station, 88.5, one of my favorites. Um, you can also pin favorites right to the front, whether that's an album, a playlist, a podcast, a picture, a video, anything that you want really quick access to, you can pin that favorite right to the front. The other uh, category is history, so it will give you a lineup of what you've been, most, uh, what you've been doing most recently on the device. And then the one that I really like the most is new. Um, since I'm a Zoom Pass subscriber, I'm always adding new music to my device, but I always forget what, th what that is. So having a nice list of the stuff that I most recently added, again, whether it's pictures, podcasts, videos, pictures, whatever, um, it's right here for you to do, uh, to click into. Really excited about that. So let me get you a little bit into the kind of the, the music experience on the device. This is our album view. And you can sort, it's a very similar UI that you'll see today on the Zoom, which we call the twist interface. It's kind of an up, down, left, right um, navigation. So, you know, here's your up, down. You can swipe left and right here to go through the different categories. You could just touch on these if you wanted to as well. Um, but if you, let's say, you click into one of these album views, or into, and then let's say here this is most deaf, I click play on most deaf, takes me into this now playing view, and this is something that folks will notice right away that's a lot different. You have this really nice artist imagery in the background of, of the now playing screen. And folks that use the Zoom software today know that this is something that we've really been investing in on the software side for the last couple of years. Like, how do we make people's experience with digital music really rich and deep? You also see that it just kicks into this really cool kind of screensaver mode here that gives you really rich kind of playback kind of eye candy for, for the music that you're playing to. Some of you may know that the Zune HD actually does 720p video out through a special dock as well as your HDTV. This same view will appear on your TV if you have it plugged into your dock. So a really cool uh, experience for folks that are, have their Zune HD hooked up to their living room setup. And you can just back out of this. And um, This button here on the side will always bring up your transport controls. And so you can um, left, right, up, down. You can just swipe to change the, the volume here uh, or pause or play. You can check, click it again, and it'll go away. There's a button down here on the very bottom that will always take you back to the home or to flip between the two kind of home interfaces there. And then finally, there's a little button on the top here for power. If you click, click it once, it'll lock the screen, uh, click and hold, and it will turn the device on and off. So the device looks pretty thin. I mean, mm -hmm. this is not the, the brown brick that the Zune was three years ago. Nope, this is a, it's a very sleek device. It's very uh, thin, but still feels really sturdy. It's hard to explain until you actually get your get get your hand on it. But it's a it's a really nice ID in your hand uh, that we're really proud of. And you know, one of the things that helps make that possible is that OLED screen. Um, those are very thin screens, so it it allows the device to be very thin as well. So it's flash memory, not not a correct HDD. Yep. Now, are you guys talking about the capacity of the flash at this point? Not quite yet, but uh, but very soon. Yep. Uh, price and capacity and uh, and when this thing went the streets should be coming out really soon. All those things that have been rumored but, but not yet officially confirmed. Right, yeah. right. Just click into a video here. You can just kind of get a sense of the video playback. Really nice on the OLED screen. Deep, rich color. And like I said, you can put a 720p file on here. The screen itself is not doing 720p quality video. Um, but you can have that file and device that will down res it to the screen. And then, um, like I said, if you have that optional uh, home AV pack, you can do 720p out to your video or to your display. So it kind of becomes like the modern day VCR in your pocket. Yeah. Now, I know you guys aren't connected here to a Wi Fi network, but can you give us a sense at least for what the browser frame looks like? Sure. So uh, all devices, all the Zooms have had Wi Fi capabilities since day one. Um, this gives, gives you kind of an, uh, an idea of the way that you would connect to your different uh, network locations. Um, down here is the bar that you can just you, know, you can add favorites, uh, just like you would on your normal web browser on your computer. You can see there. Um, we have the search capabilities with a little pop-up keyboard, and you can see the keyboard kind of bubbles up on there and lets you help pick pick the pick the keys that you're going to type with, which is pretty cool, we think. Uh, the search capability is, of course, powered by Bing, which we're very excited about. <clears throat> 
And you can always pull up that little bar there, click that, and that's how you would enter in the new URL. Okay. And now also the Zunes have had an FM radio for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you guys have added HD radio. Can we see what that looks like? Sure. So let me plug in the headphones. The headphones act as the antenna. Oh, okay. So plug that in there. Uh, and then you'll see instantly that we uh, just picked up an HD stream from uh, 88.5. So for those of you that haven't used HD radio, it's really cool. It's a very crystal clear sound. It's similar to satellite radio in that it's either on or it's off. It's, you don't get the static that you would with a normal FM broadcast. But one of the other cool things about HD radio is that the broadcasters actually have the ability to broadcast up to three extra multi-channels. And so they can have a parallel set of um, content playing. So for here on KPLU, they're having a 24-hour jazz channel. Um, I also know on the KUOW stream uh, in Seattle, they broadcast to BBC. So for folks that are interested in free content, um, FM radio just got a lot more interesting because you get crystal clear sound with the ability to get like 3x more content than you would usually. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Thanks very much, Brian. Absolutely.